Hi everyone, I am H.S. Shri Yukta. So today I will be showing you how to send personalized mails to Mars in Gmail using Google Apps Script. So for demonstration purpose, I am using the template provided by Google in the Apps Script tutorial page. So this is the spreadsheet which is a part of the tutorial uh, template. So now let's say we have to circulate a Google form and all the responses of the Google form are recorded in this spreadsheet. Okay, let me just quickly edit this form. Okay, so now let me add an item. Let's say we, I want to add phone number and text. Done. Yep. So I have added this column called phone number. Now let me just close this and as we can see a new column known as phone number is added to this spreadsheet. Now in the email template this is the personalized text which we need to send to all the uh, people who would have entered the form. So let me just copy this because we added phone number. So let me just copy this and make it phone number. Make sure that while you are writing the phone number inside the braces, it is the same as the name of the column. Otherwise, it won't be able to extract the information. Okay, cool. So, we have done this. Now, let me just go back and, yeah, in tools, this is where the part of the Google Apps Script comes. Let me just go to tools, then script editor. Yeah, so this is the Google Apps Script. The whole code was provided along with the template. So I'll just be using that. So it's quite well documented so you guys can understand. But just for the purpose of this video, I'll be explaining a few parts. So first an object of the spreadsheet app is created here. Then the first sheet is extracted by using the index 0. And here the template sheet, the second spreadsheet is extracted using the index 1. So we're talking about zero as in this sheet and templates as in this sheet. Okay. But before all this, we'll have to enter data into this spreadsheet as we haven't yet entered yet. So let's just enter it. So I'll go to forms, go to life form and I'll enter some data here. Let's say first name is Sri Yukta, last name. I'll be providing my email ID here. And I'll give some random phone number and then submit. And I'll also, let's just give another response, you know, for the demonstration purpose. I'll be using my another email ID and I'll put some random phone number and submit. Okay, cool. So this has been done. Let's just check if this response has been recorded in the spreadsheet. Hooray! It's here. So we have got the email IDs and whatever the user entered. Now let's just send personalized emails to this using this app script. Now, as I had explained, it was extracting sheet number one and sheet number two. And here, because we used five columns since we added the phone number, I'll make it five. And you can change the subject in this line. I'll just be giving it as testing. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we'll have to save it explicitly because it won't save automatically. Now just select the function, it just send emails and let's just run it. 
So the first time we'll be running it, we'll require authorization. Later on, it won't ask for authorization. Allow. As you can see, it is running. And mm -hmm, voila. We have received the mails in both the inboxes. Hooray. Okay, let's just check them out. So first one was Shashi. So we have entered Shashi here. Shashi and Sri Yukta. So the details are the same, like the content, but the whatever the inputs was there, which has been added here, as you can see in this mail as well. See here it is showing hi Sri Yukta, here it is showing hi Shashi. And the details are also different here. So this is how you use the Google Apps script to send mails. This is also known as mail merging in Gmail. You can use the Google Apps script for other Google applications like YouTube, Maps, Docs, etc. So if you want to know more about this, you can go check out their Apps script documentation. And if you like this video, you can like it, share it, view as much as possible and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.